Hello, everyone, and welcome to our course on 2D game physics. I am super excited to publish this course online. We are going to effectively create and understand the fundamentals of a very simple but functional 2D game physics engine. We are going to code from scratch, line by line, formula per formula, from the ground up, a physics engine. I'm Gustavo Petzi. I teach computer science and mathematics here in London. And we are going to cover in this course, we're going to focus on 2D physics. We're going to learn movement, mechanics, the ideas of forces, impulses, friction, drag. There's a lot of physics laws and there's a lot of intuition that I want to create with you. We're going to sit down together, analyze formulas. We're going to do a review of vectors. We're going to do a review of this high school fundamental ideas of physics that maybe it's been a long time since you last reviewed them. At the end of the day, it's about creating the intuition behind these mathematical formulas of physics and coding them, right? Seeing a visual feedback uh, on the screen, something moving, these rigid bodies rotating, colliding. So there's a lot, right? This journey is going to be long, but I guarantee it's going to be super satisfying. So I thought it was a good idea for me to stop and let's look at the roadmap, right? What is the learning path that we're going to take together and review what are the topics that we're going to cover by the end of this course. We are going to start our journey by looking at the fundamental ideas of what 2D physics simulation is all about. We need to talk about things like integration, movement, these ideas of time step, right? Physics step simulation. We need to look at the basics of simulating physics laws using software, using digital machines. So that is going to be the start point. We're going to learn what simulation really is, what is game physics, right? To start with, what are we talking about? What is game physics? Are we talking about movement mechanics, thermodynamics? What is game physics? What are the topics that we are really going to focus and learn in this course? Our focus is going to be games. So we have to focus on the topics that are important for game physics simulation, 2D game physics simulation. And we are going to start. We are going to have to use some mathematical tools. And one of the most important tools that are going to be omnipresent in our course are vectors. So we are going to do a quick, short, but very effective primer on vector, a review on vectors, right? Vector operations, addition, subtraction, dot product, cross product. I need you to be confident with these ideas. I wanted to create some good intuition about where we use those operations. So vectors is going to take probably a couple of lectures. We're going to review vectors. We need to be very comfortable. It needs to be second nature to you how vectors work. And in this part of the course, this initial part where we're going to review the mathematics that we need for vectors, I am not going to code anything using C++, right? We are going to use C++ in later stages of our course. But in the beginning part, I'm just going to use, let's use maybe JavaScript, something very easy just to create this proof of concept to see these vectors moving, these things, you know, these operations working together, addition, subtraction, dot product, cross product. Let's just use JavaScript for the starting part. And then after we learn vectors, then we're going to dive in into the actual programming part, right, using C++. I picked C++ because it is a very powerful language, it is industry standard, and in a course like this, where we have to think about objects, vectors, structs, I think C++ is a good option for us to think about object-oriented programming and also use operator overloading. You will see that that is very important for us when we think about vectors and applying this, bring this physics loss into reality, into our screen. The next thing that I want to cover is, once we start working with C++, I am going to start with this gentle introduction to what we call particle physics. So the objects that we're going to try to simulate, they are only going to be this point masses, right? We're going to start only with particle physics, because working with particles allows us to think about fundamental ideas of movement, kinematics, position, velocity, acceleration, friction, force, impulses, which means that we can really focus on the physics simulation part and not worry too much about the shape of the object. They are only going to be these points with mass. So we can apply forces, we can see acceleration, we can integrate, we can change the velocity, change the position. We are going to start with particle physics. And then 
with these ideas as well, we can talk about some important types of forces. So we can simulate spring forces, elasticity, soft constraint, maybe you can connect things with rods. So we can also talk about these constraints and different types of forces, right? Friction, spring forces, that is also part and under the umbrella of what we call particle physics. And the next step, this is almost a divider here, right? We can have this divisor here on this course. Right now, as we leave particles, we start to talk about rigid bodies. This is a super huge topic, super important topic. This is the core of our 2D physics simulation. Rigid bodies, these bodies that have now shapes, right? They can be circles, they can be polygons, they can be boxes, rectangles. Our objects, they will have a shape. And this shape, with shapes, we have to start thinking about something called angular movement, right? So how do we rotate those shapes? How do they behave when we apply torque? How do they change their angular velocity, right? Rotation, this angular movement. This is where we start to enter these ideas of applying different forces, impulses to certain points of our shape. This is a big divisor, rigid bodies. We're going to zoom in, understand how to represent these shapes using C++. This is a huge, huge topic. And then with rigid bodies, we have to understand also that we need to think about collision. And collision is a super huge topic under rigid bodies. How do we detect that collision happen? Because sometimes in your game, all you really want to understand is the detection, right? You only need to detect if something collided. So if your main player collided with a certain pickup point, then you increase the score. Only detection is enough. But most times, if you're talking about a 2D or a 3D physics engine, you need to detect collision and resolve that collision, right? So if these two circles come together and we detect a collision, how do we resolve that collision? How do they go their own way, right? How do they get separated and we apply these impulses to separate? So we are going to discuss lots of techniques about detecting collision between polygons, between circles, resolving that collision by applying impulses, projection method. There is a lot that we're going to cover and understand, hopefully understand the intuition behind all these techniques and the mathematical formulas, right? That is always my goal. Look at the mathematics and put things into context. And also, at the end, this is just the start, because we need to talk about physics engine stability. How do we make sure that our physics engine is stable? How do we prevent jittering movement? How do we make collision and resolution stable? Physics engine stability needs to be in our radar. We need to keep an eye open for stability and creating something robust. I'm not going to say that we're going to create something similar to Box2D or Chipmunk2D, right? These third-party engines. But we need to keep an eye open and so we can create something small, but effectively that can work and we can see something stable simulating physics in our screen. And that's the whole goal. All right, so this is the roadmap, right? This is what we're going to cover in our first course that focus on 2D game physics. We're going to do loads of exercises, we're going to consolidate our knowledge, we're going to have quizzes, we can ping pong ideas, so it's going to be a fun journey. Trust me, I love teaching these concepts of rigid bodies, collision detection, resolution, shapes, velocity acceleration, displacement, movement, drag, lift, friction. There is a lot of ground that we have to cover, we're going to have a lot of fun. So hopefully, see you inside, let's get this going.